Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones back with a new video. Cool heads, bridal tongues. It's a good thing I got this hat on because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be called a coon for um, for making this video. Uh, there's a video going around. I, I I watched it yesterday with a, fr a friend showed it to me, and it's about a it's about a guy. He's a, a young black guy. He's walking down uh, walking. It's in Cincinnati, Ohio, and he has a coffee in his hand, a cappuccino. I think he said, and he's and he's holding the phone. And you know, record himself, and you see off off to the corner, you can see a, a cop on a bike, and you somehow how the cop is following. He said, you know, this is a day to day, you know, a daily thing that he faces um, as a black man in America. And he was talking, and you know, somehow, I guess the cop followed him. Um, later in the, in the video, it talks about how the cop followed him. For, uh, he was at, uh, uh, I guess, question him, at, question him, asked some questions about he was at the store, and as he left the store, the cop continued to follow him, and as the cop. Uh, I think the cop asked him, "Is there a problem?" And you know, the the young and the cop's white. I include that detail in it. Um, like I said, you'll see it in the video. Um, if I, um, we're planning to include the link in the description box. And the young guy, he, you know, he he talks about you know he's 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 afraid. You know, he's fearful of his life. He's afraid of you know being around the cop. And an argument ensues, and the guy, you know, he puts his hand in his pocket and he wants to show him his ID. The cop says, "I didn't want to see. I didn't want to see your ID." I believe that's what he said. And you know, I guess the cop thinks he's gonna pull out a weapon. I don't know, but uh, uh, it just goes into like you know, the guy talked about his rights being violated and um, his constitutional rights, his civil rights. Uh, and you know, the guy gets a. I guess he gets arrested. He gets. A, he gets. He gets placed in. He gets put put in cuffs. I don't know if he's. Um, like later detained, taken to a you know to a police station. <coughs> but I had, to, but around the time when the argument started, I said I had to, I had to stop the video. I said, hold on, this. I told my friend, stop the video. Let me watch this from the let me watch this from the beginning, and see where if it, I, I like to go back and see where something went wrong, and try to and, you know try to figure out you know where what was the catalyst, what caused things to change, what caused situations you know to go from zero to sixty. Um, I think it's very important to when I mean, you watch the video, watch watch at what point things get things get escalated. Things went ex from my from how I saw it, things got escalated when the man lost his temper. When the young man lost his temper, you know, he said he was afraid of the cops. Uh, he said he's afraid that he's you know, and we and you know, I'm not naive to the what's been going on. Um, some time between uh, between cops and uh, cops and citizens, especially blacks, especially citizens who are black. And um, another thing, and also male. That's another thing. Uh, that's another you know detail I want to point out. But this this uh, this from personal experience with police. It's, it's the expression, uh, cooler heads will, you know, cooler heads will prevail. If you keep your cool, and it's not, I guess, and I, maybe, and I don't think it's something that you just do like that. I think it's, it takes practice. You have to practice with keeping your cool, not letting your emotions get the best of you throughout your day, -to -day throughout your day-to-day -day routine. Um, I try my best not to get, uh, not let things riled, get me, get me riled up. You know, now I have I work with I work with close friends at one of my jobs, and they do some stuff that just makes me like <laughs> makes me just, you know oh my goodness like maybe I'm gonna do a face palm, and you know and you know like do some do some annoying stuff, but I say you know it's is this something really to get you know really lose my cool now. I know that's a far, that's a, that's a, you know, that's a, that seems like that seems to be like a, a far cry from a police encounter, but the same applies because in my daily life I pr I'm practicing it with small stuff, so when big things come up, I can say, oh, okay, now it's it's a bit more of a challenge. Let me see if I can apply these same, um, apply the same things I've done, and you know, in small matters, and apply them to something that's bigger, something that's a bit more, uh, you know, a bit more, maybe a bit more alarming. And like I said, and like I said, from personal experience with police, keeping your cool, and also holding your tongue 
will sa will save your ass. You know, you may be you know you may be fearful, you may be afraid of what's going on, and I don't and I under I fully understand. But losing your cool, uh, letting your emotions get the best of you, letting fear get the best of you, and let and and not and not keeping control of that of that muscle in your mouth will get you in hot. Will, will make will make things even worse. You know, I'm I, I like I said I've been in per I personally I've been in situations and um, there are some people who are watching this video they know I'm who know me who I've told the stories I've told some stories too they know what I'm talking about and I had to keep my cool I had to be calm I had, I had you know I had to not say certain things that would escalate that would make that would escalate the situation. Um, and it's kept me it's kept me alive it's kept me from getting abused um, you know not all out no, not all the outcomes you know came out to my favor but I'm still here and so I had another chance and I believe there's another chance to spread this message um, I think there's a problem uh, not so much with you know of course it's a policing problem uh, that, I, that I've, I've noticed but I also say there's a problem with uh, with a lot of young males, especially a lot of young black males, when it comes to maintaining their cool, keeping control of their tongue, not letting those not letting those things get them in trouble. Because if you look at a lot of situations that have gone on in the news, that's a that's a common thread. You know, losing your you know letting your emo getting emotional. First off, you're, you know, this may piss people off, but you're a male, or you're, or I guess, well, I guess, I guess you're, you being a male, but I guess it's, it's kind of the thing that, it's more, I guess it's conventional, conventional wisdom that males tend to be more logical, to not let, tend, and tend to not let their, you know, lose their cool so easily. I think I'm going to get, get, I'm going to do a video on that subject, uh, I think maybe probably after that, right after this video. Um... And you don't let your tongue get you in trouble. You know when to shut up. You know when to say things. You know you know what things to say. And you kind of run these things to your mind in case you know this is like this is, this is mental, mental preparedness. In case something happens, you know, in case you're in an encounter with not just police but with anybody, where what you say, you know, you know, could even make you or break you. Um, and I know I saw a lot, a lot of these instances where it's you know it's young black men getting or black males in general getting killed by police. Those two things are always seem to be very common. You know, also accompanied by also accompanied with doing dumb shit. You know, I'm also well throw that in there as well. You know. Uh, some of the things I've seen, some of the things I've read on the news, it's outright embarrassing. But you know, ultimately, it's practice. It takes lots and lots of practice. <coughs> Trial and error at times, but it takes lots of practice. If you know you have a temper, practice keep practice keeping your cool. Try with small things, and then work your way up to things that maybe that maybe a bit more. Um, maybe more attention grabbing, so to speak, and watch what you say. You know, did you see the Dave Chappelle skit? I plead the fifth. <laughs> you know, don't if if you are doing anything, if you do, or if you are doing something, don't don't tell yourself, don't snitch on yourself. But 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 basically, just watch what you say. You know, if you if you can avoid saying anything, go that route or give very minimal information, just enough to you know. Just enough to not, I guess, keep things smooth. You know, I guess it's one of those one of those people skills. <laughs> um, I think I guess a lot of people are lacking. But please tell me what you think. Um, you know, I'm I'm doing this video because not because I saw the video last night, but I'm, you know, I'm on Facebook and I saw you know someone I saw someone someone made a comment um, that you know I more or less agree with, and everyone is jumping down this person's throat and making all you know saying all these hurling all these insults. Um, and so I and I typed them, you know, I typed in my two cents. I said, you know, I'm gonna do a video on this, on this matter. 
But please, tell me what you think. Um, if you have an experience you want to share, if you're comfortable sharing, I'm, I'm happy to. Uh, I'd be happy to read about it or send me a PM. You know, on the uh, on the same subject. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video as well as you know my, my old videos. I look forward to new videos to come. Gripes, complaints, send me a PM. Uh, if you got something else to call me beside a coon, you know, go ahead and call me what you want. I'm still, be, you know, God willing, I'm still be here on YouTube. But uh, that's my video. Cool heads, bridal tongues. I'm Edward Jones, and thanks for watching.